Our next distinguished guest has come a very long way from the Ottawa Valley, now serving as Iceland's first lady. Please welcome Eliza Reed. Good to see you again. Oh, thank this you is very such much. an honor. Pleasure to meet you. You too. Talk to us about how this all started and why did you move to Iceland to begin <clears throat> with? I moved to Iceland because I fell in love. Uh, with an Icelandic man. We were in graduate school together in England and to make a very long story <laughs> short um, uh, he drew my name out of a cup to go on a date. <laughs> Are which, you kidding? Yeah, that's a true that's story. So cool. And what I stacked the cup with my name. So. so, okay, so you get married, life mm -hmm. is grand, you're loving it there and then all of a sudden how does he fall into the political realm of things and then become president? Yeah, he was a mild-mannered uh, professor of history at the University of Iceland. There was an ongoing presidential campaign and then uh, in early April, the Panama Papers scandal brought down the Prime Minister uh, of the country who was uh, in, in, in involved in, in the Panama Papers scandal. And um, people, my husband was one of the commentators on television for it a lot. And people started calling our home and saying, we really think that he should run for president. You're kidding. Um, and so he declared his candidacy on uh, May the 5th. And the election was on June the 25th. And then the great ceremony happened just this past summer in August right. 2016. And now you are the first lady. So how do they take to you being Canadian first? Do they fancy us Canadians to be good, kind people over in Iceland? Yes, I think uh, Icelanders and Canadians have uh, have a lot in common. Um, very sort of uh, inclusive, open-minded societies. And I've lived there for a number of years. I got Icelandic citizenship a number of years ago. Um, and people have always uh, been very open and, and welcoming to me. I've never found it a problem. And you're a fabulous ambassador because you love to write, you're an editor, you're a busy mom of four beautiful kids, I don't know how you do it all. And now you're here to tell the world about how great it is, so a great place mm -hmm. to visit cuisine. It's only a five hour flight, I didn't realize it was so yeah. short. Yeah, it's really close. I don't know if this is true, but I think it's got to be shorter than flying to Vancouver from here. I think it is, um, yeah. So it's really easy. Um, it's a great place to travel to because it's very safe. Um, there's a, lots of people speak English, so for people who are a little bit nervous maybe about uh, traveling uh, internationally, mm -hmm. it's a great sort of introduction place to go but as you can see maybe from some of the photos that are coming up the, the nature is incredible and um, yeah, there's so many different things to see and do and also in a small space so you can actually experience a lot. You know what's the hot spot when? Check this out. Famous films and TV shows include Game of Thrones, Star Wars The Force Awakens, Thor The Dark World, The Secret Life of Walter Mitty, one of our personal faves here. The landscape just begs to be explored. What do you mm -hmm. love most about the landscape? Gosh, I love too that it's also it's on the doorstep of where we live so it's really easy to drive just 20 minutes and you're in, in nature. I think because there's so much natural hot water there it's a sort of volcanic country. There's a lot of natural hot springs and um, the geothermal energy means that there's a lot of public swimming pools and that's something that we spend a lot of time doing as a family is going and sitting out in these outdoor uh, hot pots they're called oh, cool. even if it's snowing outside or the northern lights are out. And Mother Nature's hot saunas is what they are yeah? Yeah exactly. So very healing great for circulation and we mentioned food Let's talk about it. So staple dishes include, you mentioned earlier, seafood. Mm -hmm, absolutely. Lots of great, delicious seafood and, and fresh fish. Um, the free-range lamb is something that everybody needs to try when they visit Iceland. The, the, the sheep are out um, wild over the, in the hills and the mountains over the summertime and then come back. And so there's a great flavor that's infused there uh, into, the, into the meat when you eat it. And there's great local herbs of different kinds of, of mosses, angelica herbs that grow in, in northern climates that, that can be added to it. So, so. cool. If it's not on your list yet make sure you get a taste this week and there'll be a taste of Iceland here beginning today through Sunday that's right. so how do we find out more um, you can go to Iceland Naturally's website there's a Facebook event as well um, and go to taste of Iceland Toronto and you can find it all the details lots of free events going on in the city welcome back I don't know if you consider this you know is Canada your home is Iceland it's safe to say both still are they right? both are yeah in your heart now it's so great thank to you it's great here. to have you back and enjoy the next few days for more information everybody make sure you check it out you can actually meet First Lady Eliza Reed at Ben McNally books tomorrow night at 6 p.m. Head out. What a great way to spend a Friday. Breakfasttelevision.ca for all of the information as well on Twitter at Iceland Natural and hashtag Taste of Iceland. Thank you so much. Right now it's uh, Kev with Need to Know. It's